The Netherlands, the post-war era. The majority of Dutch people get to their destinations by bicycle. For work, school, shopping, leisure and everything in between. But things are rapidly changing. The 1960s. Prosperity is increasing and car ownership is growing progressively. More and more of the limited space is taken away from people on bicycles and motorized transportation is prioritized. Consequently, more people get hurt or die in traffic than ever before, including people on bicycles. The 1970s, oil crisis, dollar crisis, environmental crisis, turmoil in the world and in the Netherlands, car-centric policies result in congestion, a hostile traffic environment and cycling is further put on the defense. But Dutch citizens rise to the occasion, organize themselves and collectively and loudly say enough is enough. The grassroots campaign Stop the Child Murder starts a movement to halt this spiral and this resonates with the Dutch people and government. The Netherlands managed to make everyday cycling an option again, turning things around for the better. The Netherlands are the world's most successful cycling nation. Young or old, rich or poor, everyone cycles. It's part of everyday life because it was made part of everyday life, as a viable transportation option. The Dutch bicycle industry is diverse and thriving and caters to all. Cycling is completely integrated in the Dutch transportation network, making it a seamless experience. Bicycle parking is of great importance. The ever-growing number of people cycling has stimulated parking solutions that are convenient, efficient and of high quality. These aspects are instrumental to increase cycle rates and meet the needs of everyday use. The most popular means of transportation is the combination of cycling and transit. Folding bikes travel for free and regular bicycles can be taken around the country outside peak hours for a small fee. The railway company and municipalities provide bicycle parking in close proximity to the train stations. In 2003, another option was added to this mix, the Ovefiets bike rental service. Currently, it's available at over 230 train stations around the country, which makes it both ideal for commuters and other transit users. The Ovefiets bike rental service is extremely popular and it has become the most successful bike share system in the world. In 2010, Ovefiets accounted for 85,000 subscribers, 5,000 rental bikes and 850,000 bicycle trips. The Netherlands have a vast and completely connected bicycle network of 29,000 kilometers of separated bicycle paths and 7,000 kilometers of on-road bike lanes, enabling the Dutch to go anywhere, anytime. Bicycle-specific infrastructure and integral spatial planning form the pillars of an impressive cycle safety record. Combined with pro-bicycle traffic laws, education, and positive promotion, this record continues to improve. It enables children to cycle and recycle to school, and adults to pedal to work and the shops. This generates a friendlier and more sustainable urban environment. Road design for people has become the norm and contributes to a healthier and happier nation. Measures such as traffic calming and prioritizing road design for cycling and walking have had a profound effect on the safety of all road users. Cities embrace this and continue to improve and expand these measures. The Cyclist Union has been instrumental in enabling the Dutch to get onto their bikes and ride in safety, and continues to do so. Their work never stops, 
from local, regional, and national advocacy and public outreach to technological innovation, from monitoring and assessing bicycle infrastructure, influencing the political agenda, to promoting cycling positively, safeguarding what the Dutch have, and improving existing conditions. Dutch know-how on sustainable and active urban transportation is progressively developed for research in Africa, Asia and Latin America through the Cycling Academic Network. This research aims to contribute to development goals regarding poverty elevation, emission reduction strategies and sustainable spatial planning and design. The research network includes 20 universities ITC and universities in India, Brazil and South Africa and it's expanding worldwide. The Cycling Academic Network aims to further develop and transfer knowledge in cooperation with local governments, civil society organizations, the private sector and knowledge institutes. The Netherlands have accumulated cycling expertise that is of great interest to emerging and re-emerging cycling countries around the world. Increased foreign demand has inspired the Netherlands to establish a new organization which can support, facilitate, contribute to and inspire international cycling projects and policies, helping countries, cities and its people to move forward in a safe and healthy way. Therefore, the Netherlands is proud to present the Dutch Cycling Embassy.